spin the image of my little brother. What? <laughs> How and why Billy Butcher kills his own teammates in the boys' comics. It's an undeniable fact that Butcher's butchery saw no bounds when it came to taking down soups. Even while he was working for the Federal Bureau of Superhuman Affairs, he did as he pleased, oftentimes going against set procedure and rules. I mean, if you remember the first season, Butcher's obsession with killing translucent was almost sickening. Essentially, Butcher acted like a certain mean and selfish god who only used humans instead of helping them. Butcher had the most massive beef to pick with Homelander, and for that reason, he recruited others like Huey, Frenchie, and Mother's Milk, people who had lost someone close to them because of the soups. However, this path not only led Butcher to his doom, but also forced the others to walk towards self-destruction. Come to think about it, Butcher was no less than the Game of Thrones' Daenerys Targaryen, who ended up becoming the monster she aimed to destroy. I guess we truly die a hero or live long enough to see ourselves become the villain. And Butcher turns out to become one bleeding villain by the end of the boys' comics. Let's find out, shall we? Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. Killing Mother's Milk While we are still trying to cope with the ending of the third season of The Boys, the comics had a different arc altogether. In the show, we know that it was Homelander who assaulted Butcher's wife, Becca, and that's what started Butcher's crusade against soups, especially Homelander. However, in the comics, it was actually Black Noir who assaulted poor Becca. Black Noir was Homelander's clone, who often donned the latter's costume to commit horribly despicable acts of sadism and pure evil. When things go out of hand for Black Noir, he reveals this secret and ends up murdering Homelander. But the battle was tense and Black Noir sustained several injuries. Butcher took advantage of the silent ninja's wounds and killed him in cold blood, thereby exacting his revenge. But you see, the thing about revenge is that it is hardly fulfilled, ever. Naturally, Butcher's thirst for revenge and bloodshed was not quenched even after Black Noir's death and he wanted more, a lot more. In order to carry forward his crusade against soups, he decided that each and every soup on the face of Mother Earth should be eliminated, irrespective of their allegiance and them being good or bad. You're a fucking hypocrite, Butcher. Now move. I can't let you do it. Yeah. He didn't care if these soups were innocent children or outright villains. In fact, Huey confronted Butcher about his plan and said that killing all the soups would be like the Nazis killing the Jews. To this, Butcher replied that it would be like the Jews killing the Nazis. However, there was a difference here. According to analogy, the Jews were going to kill all Germans, women, children, and the elderly. In issue number 68 of the boys' comics, Huey talks about a special kind of compound V from Russia that exploded people's heads if the detonation frequency was achieved. Furthermore, according to his intel, Butcher had almost 118 metric tons of that stuff, enough to kill all the soups of the world and still surplus would remain to bathe in that crap. The boys immediately swing into action to figure out Butcher's whereabouts and that of his head-exploding compound V. It wasn't long before that, Butcher met Mother Milk who was investigating the safe houses where Butcher could have kept all of the twisted compound V. However, when M.M. confronted Butcher about his diabolic plan, a fight broke out between the two. Initially, M.M. easily overpowered Butcher and would have taken the Irish man down had it not been for the grenade that Butcher detonated near M.M.'s face. M.M. took some serious injuries but was still breathing. Displaying utter evil nature, Butcher went on to strangulate M.M., hence ending his friend's life once and for all. Killing Frenchie and the Female, Kimiko in the TV series In the 69th issue of the comics, the worst comes to life as Butcher once again shows just how demented he had become. So, in this issue, Huey and Frenchie came to the conclusion that it wasn't possible for Butcher to pump the head-exploding compound V into the millions of soups, not unless he was able to turn the liquid into some form of gas that could be easily inhaled by the soups. But they also knew that Butcher wasn't a biochemist. 
and achieving such a feat would be impossible for him alone. Naturally, he had to be working with someone smart. When all doors closed for the duo, they thought that it would be Vogelbaum who could be helping Butcher, either intentionally or under pressure. Huey reaches Vogelbaum's only to find him long dead and all his notes gone, which are called to confirm that it was he who wiped the place clean. Huey left the place disheartened and unsure of what to do next, which is when he called Frenchie. The two of them were talking about the issue at hand when Frenchie heard something ticking. Upon inspection, he discovered a bomb in his apartment and Frenchie was sure that it was Butcher's doing. Time had run out and he knew that an attempt to escape with his beloved, the female male, aka Kimiko, would be futile. He then goes up to her, holds her in his arms and expresses his love for the first time in the comics. The bomb then detonates, killing the two of them while Huey was close enough to get rocked by the impact. Huey found himself devastated at what Butcher had done, how he killed all those who cared for him, worked with him. M.M., Frenchie and Kimiko were not just part of the boys. They weren't just Butcher's colleagues, but his friends, his true friends. However, Butcher was blinded by his rage and obsession to kill the soups. Now it was not difficult for Huey to realize that he was the only one who could stop Butcher from executing his plan. How does Billy die? With everyone gone, Huey found himself battling with an inner demon. I mean, the poor dude has lost his girlfriend, his friends, basically everyone he had ever held dear. And now, he was supposed to take down his mentor, who was definitely more than a match for Petty Huey. Yet, Huey's determination was the only trait that was strongest in him when compared to the rest of the boys. One thing led to another, and Huey found himself with Butcher atop the Empire State Building. Their verbal exchange pushed Huey to run into Butcher with the intention of taking him down below. But, as we know, Huey is not really the kind of person who wins a physical fight. He missed Butcher and broke the window, but Butcher caught him just before he could fall to his death. However, Butcher couldn't hold on to Huey for long, and the two of them fell from the towering building. Huey's leg got slashed by the fencing, while Butcher ended up paralyzed below his neck. Somehow, Huey managed to break the sharp fence and fell to the ground. Sitting across Butcher, the two of them spoke about the things they had done and reminisced the sequence of events that led them to the situation they were presently in. Butcher realized that this was the end for him and he wanted Huey to end it for Butcher. However, Huey was someone who didn't take pleasure in killing, not even if the person he was slaying was the murderer of his girlfriend. And here, it was Butcher, his mentor, his friend. But Butcher was someone who knew exactly how to get things done, right? When simple requests failed, Butcher tried other tactics like goading Huey into finishing him off. Butcher ultimately succeeded when he spoke shit about Huey's parents. Losing all his cool and calm temperament, Huey pulled out the steel pipe from his thigh and stuck it into Butcher's chest, only for Butcher to go off in peace, smiling. If you think about it, there was some kind of poetic justice in what Huey had just done. He was the only one left from the boys, the only one who didn't wish for the soups to die unnecessarily. All he wanted was for the bad soups to be taught a lesson, to be punished. It was fitting that he was the one to end the mess once and for all. Will the show follow the comics? Well, as far as the show is concerned, it follows the basic storyline as the comics, where Butcher is going against Homelander with everything that he has. Having said that, there exist way too many stark differences between the two pieces of work. For instance, in the show, Black Noir is no clone of Homelander and has a rather pitiful backstory. There have been several gender reversals for major characters, etc. Yet, Butcher seems to be following the path in the comics because he has alienated himself from everyone in The Boys. He went so far as to join hands with Soldier Boy, someone who is MM's arch enemy. Furthermore, Butcher made it extremely extremely clear to Queen Maeve in one of the scenes that he wanted all the soups dead. Now that Amazon Prime has confirmed a fourth season for the boys, I think the creators will follow a similar arc as in the comics, at least as far as Butcher is concerned. He's been on a path of self-destruction from the get-go, and it is highly unlikely that Butcher will stop anytime soon. In his own words, with great power, Butcher had ensured that he had turned into a hunt. 
or something rhyming that starts with a C. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. And have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone.